lovely body. I believe we are all doing well. We are doing fine. I know this is one of the critical time for all of us. One of the hardest time. We are losing parents. We are losing leaders. We are losing role models. We are losing relatives. We are losing future leaders every day. We can miss a day without a bad news. We can miss a day without sad news. Please guys, guys accept my condolences to everybody. To every South Sudanese outside there, take a minute. Every day, sit down, pray to your God. Pray so that we can have a change. Pray so that we can have the few parents who are remaining now because we really need them. Losing elders, something that we can't swallow. They are the people that we look up to. They are th the people, either they make mistakes or good deeds, we still look up to. We still learn some lessons from them. We still pick from where they will always live. Guys, please, let's always put our hands together. Let's always pray for them. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'm so grateful. I'm so humble. Yeah, you know what? Today, talk. I'm going to talk about parenting. Parenting. What is parenting? You might say good parent. Yeah, to start with parenting, parenting is a care. Either emotional, physical, spiritual. Any care that we give to a child, to mothers, to women, it all starts once you you realize you are pregnant. That's when you become a parent. You take care of that pregnancy until when that child is born. When the child is born, anybody, everybody who is always around that child is always a parent. And that's why we normally say, whatever you do around any child, you need to be careful. You don't become a parent because you have given birth to that child, no. You become to that par you become a parent of that child because you are giving that child a parental care, a parental guidance. You are taking care of that child. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, in every way possible. The time that you will hear a child so much attached to another parent, somebody who even you, who didn't give birth to him or her, simply because that person is always closer to that child. Look at it this way. If you are a working class, you have a caretaker uh, in the house. The difference between you, the biological father or the biological mother with that caretaker or the auntie in the house, is that the child will be so much attached to that auntie than you do because most of the time you are always busy at work. That child doesn't get time to talk to you. Anytime the child comes to, to you or a child come to you, you are always busy on your laptop. You are always busy attending a lot of things, attending meetings. The child even wouldn't express their feelings. Look at it. You will realize your child will grow, not understanding you better. You will realize that child is so much attached to another parent, another person, simply because you don't listen to him or her. You don't give a listening ear. I'm not saying that we stop our jobs or we stop going for work. But I wanted to say, if you are a parent, always have time for your kids. It is so much important. They really need it. If you are given the responsibility of the child, when you are not the real parent of the child, please take care of that child. Give that child the parental guidance that he or she deserves. Don't look at the child and he started remembering all the mistakes that his parents do or her parents do. 
Look at that child as an innocent person. Look at that child as someone who is your responsibility, someone whom you need to raise, someone whose use or her future relies in your hand. Take care of that child. Raise that child well. Always give the best to that child. Make sure that child become the best. We need to be better parents. Parenting doesn't start when you are when you are 20 or 30 years or 50 or 70. It is start from the moment that you have a heart of parenting. It is start from a moment that you want to take care of someone. Me personally, there are people, there are women whom I call mothers. Like Mary Nibble, not because she is my real mother. But because she's always there to listen to me. Even to other kids, you will find them there are people whom they call mothers, father, uncle, and there is that deep connection simply because that person is always there. Always give listening ear to your kids. Always be there for your kids. Always be there for the kids. They really need you. Always be good parents to them. Always give them the best. Don't always stay so away from your kids or don't always stay so far from your kids. Always give them listening ears. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thanks for listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, share it, leave a comment below, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Danny211. And never forget to click on, on the notification bell for timely updates on more inspiring, cultural, entertaining, and educational content. Thank you. Bye.